As we reach the end of 2021, what a crazy year it's been. We all hoped that it would be so much more, yet we're also grateful for what it was. A number of years ago, I finally made a New Year's resolution that I have kept ever since I made it. What was that resolution? I resolved to stop making resolutions. And to this day, I haven't made one since. It's incredibly freeing. It also lets me think every year about what it is I'd like to do differently. Without having to make a resolution, some sort of promise, it gives me freedom to think, what have I been doing? What would I like to do? What would I like to do different? And how can I go about doing it? This year, I've been inspired, particularly by my trip to Israel with Momentum. It made me think, what are some things I'd like to do that would make me feel better, that would be inspiring, that would help me be a better person? There are three things that I've begun doing that I really have enjoyed and continue to enjoy, and I look forward to continuing into 2022. It's not a resolution. It's just something I look forward to continuing doing. The first is I say Modani every morning. It's a very short prayer. It's very thankful to God for everything that I have and for giving me another day. Very similar to what I was doing anyway, but in a Jewish way instead of just a regular way. Secondly, each week I watch Harry Rothenberg's video Devar Torah. It's awesome. If you haven't had a chance to see it, please send me a note. I'll send you the link. Every week it's inspiring. Every week it's interesting. Every week it's relevant. Every week it's current. He really brings it alive in a fantastic way. And the third is every week I also listen to Ari Shabbat's message going into Shabbat. Yes, his name really is Ari Shabbat, and the message really is for Shabbat. It's inspiring. It makes me think. It gives me something to chew on over the weekend. As we head into 2022, I encourage you to think about what you'd like to do differently in our community. What is it that you would like to have different? What is it you think you can do to make yourself feel better, to take better care of yourself, your family, your loved ones? What are the small things that truly make a big difference? I want to wish you all a Shabbat Shalom and a Happy New Year. I look forward to seeing you in 2022.